edition of Florida Woodsman with me your host Mikey French or some people like to say Megalito whatever you want to call me don't call me late for dinner remember uh, we're out at the spot we're going to chill we just uh, got here start the camera I check the camera they're coming out at about 6.30 so let's see if they uh, actually come through. I don't have the blind. I mean, I do have the blind, but I felt lazy today. I'm just going to sit here and, in my fat man chair. It's rated for 350 pounds. You just kind of chill out. I thought I heard something over there. Just kind of chill out, wait on these hogs to come through, see what happens. All right, stay tuned. So we go, we go hang out here, see if we see anything. Feeder just went off. Let's just see if we see anything. All right, hang out. Stay tuned, boys and girls. Holy cow, I was just about to call it a night. I was about to get, I was lazy tonight. I didn't, I did not pull the blind out. I put the tailgate down on the truck and just sat here and watched the coons eat for like about two hours. Wind was real huffing. So uh, I didn't really think anything was gonna come out. The wind was in my favor, but it was huffing. And every time the wind is huffing, I never, get the hogs to come out or I can't hear them or but they came out holy cow you guys saw that footage I could have killed probably six of them but they, they just stood there I couldn't believe it man y'all are gonna give me stuff for for not shooting more but you know what two's enough I'm good I would go clean them right now and get to it that was fun that was that was flipping fun so we've got a couple sows here. Um, I probably could have shot more. They're about 100 pounds. We're going to uh, thank the Lord for this bounty. And uh, he's a good God. And and his grace and mercy was on our hunt. And, and we ask that this meat get blessed. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Lord. Here we go. Time to haul them to the truck. Let's go, boys. That was fun. I'm getting in the truck. I loaded them up, dragged them to the truck. We're going to uh, stop and maybe grab a burger or something. Okay, I'm starving and uh, get home and gut these things and clean them up, skin them up, throw them on ice. We out. Holy moly, y'all. That's got to be one of the most unique hunting situations that I've ever been in my life uh, probably one of the most fun ones as well I mean I know last week we had that squirrel hunt and that was fun this was fun and it's in a different way uh, it just was it was different I, they all come out I see some I mean I'm sitting there just sitting in the back of the tailgate you know behind the tailgate in my chair you see all of a sudden I see bigger shadows you know it's dark out you know by now I'm like oh god grab something grabbed a gun and I'm looking 
So oh, okay. So I, I get I get lined up on one, and it's a nice blonde one or a nice little brindle, and drop her, bang, drop her. She falls down, boom. They all run, which is usually what happens to me. They always run, and I never get a follow up shot. And I happen to be hunting by myself today. It's Valentine's Day, and for all you ladies out there, before you give me flack about it, my wife and I have come to a mutual agreement over the years that we're going to love each other and cherish each other for 365 days a year, and we're not going to let the world dictate when we're supposed to buy each other gifts and, and all that kind of crap. So that's that. But uh, after I dropped the first one... Um, I pan over and they're over there just kind of grouped up together. I'm like, they didn't run away. I said, oh, I said, and I'm thinking I'm by myself. I mean, do I really want to shoot another one? So, you know, my heart says, my brain says no, but my heart says, come on, hit them while they're out here. So bang, I shoot another one, drop it down. And they have, one of them, I mean, y'all saw the footage. You sat there and watched that big black hog sit there and look at that dead hog on the floor another sow that I dropped and I could have I could have hit him or her next and I just sat there and followed him I mean uh, it, it was crazy man but uh, we put another one in the books it was a fun time I mean I had fun I, I, I always you know seem to have these wonderful hog hunts when I don't have anybody with me and you know Johnny you know what I'm talking about because every time I bring you we either don't see nothing or we have a bad experience somehow or another, but we always remember it. So it's always a, 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 an engravement in our brain of when we go hunting, whether it's good or bad, because, I mean, it could be a bad, you know, a, a good, it's like that saying where they say a bad day of fishing is better than a good day of work. It's true. I mean, if I go hunt and I don't kill nothing, it's still better than sitting on the couch. It's still better than not filling the freezer at all or not even trying so that's what we do we try we get out there and, and if we succeed we succeed if not we don't you know we only get better and better as we hunt more and more and we gain more experience and and uh with it and uh patience so uh i appreciate y'all i love y'all y'all keep doing what you're doing um we have more for you coming you know it it's coming so we're gonna get it for you we're going to put it out there. I'm going to upload and upload and upload. So y'all be blessed. I appreciate y'all. Stay tuned for another edition of Florida Woodsman. I'm going to be coming out next week. And we'll give you another hunt. Another uh, cook, clean, catch, whatever it is. And uh, we're going to give it to you. So y'all be good. And remember, fire them up. We out.